Good evening, welcome, welcome, welcome once again to the Sci-Fi AI Guy Monday night stream where we play, or where I play, and you guys hang out with me playing um, science fiction games with artificial intelligence as a central theme. Um, we'll do the usual five minute preamble. I don't think anybody's actually here. I think I'm just talking to myself right now. Mmm. Mmm. I'm going to sip some, uh, some ginger cordial. I've got a nice hot chocolate here as well. Yes. As has been the... Oh, hello, Place of Old. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, as has been the standard uh, this past few weeks, I'm going to be taking it easy, see how I go. Talos Principle tends to pre treat me pretty well, so I suspect I'll play for a good chunk of time. It's possible I will be playing for 90 instead of the full 120 minutes. I'll have to see. Um, I've had a few mystery symptoms today. Uh, that could just be a general illness rolling in. Um, can't tell, but it's lessened my ability to think straight, and thinking straight is, you know, thinking well, I should say, is uh, is pretty key to me playing this game. So we'll um, we'll kick on as much as we can, see what happens, basically. I mean, I did heaps and heaps of 90-minute streams, and they were fine. I prefer the two-hour streams because I get more done, and it means hopefully we can, you know, go from game to game to game a little quicker. But yeah, she'll be right. She'll be onions, as they say. We have we have Saz, Rainbow, we have Place of Old. Crafty should be ducking in any moment. Uh, Place of Old, hello friends. I'll be pretty quiet tonight as reports are being a pain in the butt, but still listening. Yeah, that's absolutely fine. It's... I really like that we have this tight-knit little community here um, where we all hang out on Monday night and we all chat and stuff. But if people have stuff to do and all they can do is watch, that's also fine. Um, most of the other interactions I have on Twitch... I don't, I don't chat at all. I just watch, right? Because we just watch it on the TV. Like, we run Twitch through... Um, typically, we run it through the Xbox, if we're watching stuff live. Um, or we're watching YouTube VODs of previously live stuff, because a lot of the stuff we watch is American, which means the timing is bad. Um, we're at work or, or studying or what have you um, while streams are going live. So actually having a chat to interact with is great, but I don't interact in chat in other places. So for me, Twitch is a more passive medium most of the time. So I'm actually really glad we have this this chatty little realm here. It's, it's, it's fantastic. I love it. Oh! Uh, Saz, back in control of your computer. Should be more chatty today. Excellent. Matt sounds his love from school. Well, um, uh, send Matt another happy birthday. He's a, he's a good weenie. He's well lit. Mm. Oh, and this, this hot chocolate is oh, divine. Mm. All right, well, that's been um, roughly five minutes of me blathering on, and I suspect this is the bulk of the crew we're going to get tonight. I mean, it would be great to see some of the other folk. We haven't seen Imperium in a bit. I don't think we're going to see Natalie Rose again anytime soon, unfortunately. Um, uh, yeah, Natalie Rose is quite busy. Justin McJustin is, is missing, presumed dead. Um, who else is there? Lucien. Yeah, there's tons of people who would be great to see here. Um, if they don't turn up, that's fine. Or if they're watching and they never comment, that's fine as well. Um, whatever people want to do is dandy, but yeah. Let's just, let's just kick into it, I think. Oh... <sighs> I mean, I could tell you about my day, because my day was absolutely banging. Um, I decided to have a day off. It was, I decided it was time after weeks of, you know, grinding out teaching and um, marking assignments and whatnot. Um, I finally taught my last classes on Friday for this semester. Um, got, a, got a bit wistful. Um, but yeah, I decided I needed a bit of a break, and there's errands that needed to be run. I had an appointment in town anyway. So um, yeah, me and Crafty were in town. I got... Um, Today was hand Christmas, which is to say I obtained some awesome gloves, early birthday present right there, um, and I bought the best jacket ever. It's so good. I cannot wait to to, um, to wear it and show it to people. Like Normally I'm like, yeah, I've got a cool thing, I like this these clothes, I like how they look on me, and then I wear them around others, and if people say they like it, I'm like, oh, thanks. Like, I don't expect um, that people will like it. I hope but genuinely expect people to like this coat because I think it is... I mean, this is a subjective opinion. Why am I chucking useless laps? Yeah, this is this is just me, you know, running my mouth, but I think it is an objectively excellent coat. Oh, so good. <laughs> Hand Christmas getting into the band names early today. 
Saz, that is an excellent point. That would be a great band name. Um, I actually stole the term Hand Christmas. I've been banging on it hard, but that's largely because I... Oh yeah, this, this is the one I did last week. Um, because I've wanted gloves for a bit now, because... I mean, I, I saw the headline recently. Didn't read the article, because <laughs> who has the time? Um, I ran down here last time, didn't I? Yeah, I chucked, a, I chucked a lap of the island. Yeah, okay, we're not doing that again. We're doing puzzles. Um, coldest start of winter in 35 years here in Adelaide, which is a sign. Is a sign that, um, yeah, gloves would be a good idea. Right. Uh, these sigils are becoming harder to reach. I dread what the next temple holds in store. And at the end, what? Eternal life? There's got to be another way. Sheep. I like sheep. Sheep's good. <laughs> oh, man. Crafty Devious. Oh, man, you guys should have seen him when he swooned for this coat. I really did. Um, when, when Gemma pointed out when I wandered over, my first thought was like... What are these guys doing with my coat? <laughs> what is my coat doing in this store? I, I immediately felt ownership for this coat, which is frustrating because then I had to fork over um, hard-earned cash. And that's fine, I have a, I have a bit of savings. Um, I mean, money isn't great right now because of medical stuff, but the thing is, if I have a good coat for this bad weather, I can get out and live my life more, which means I just sort of... It improves quality of life. Like It is worth spending the money, um, particularly because I can wear this fucking thing in Europe. Um, Hopefully. That's the hope. Um, I just got a couple of Snapchat messages from Mushin. Um, I'm not going to check them right now because I'm playing. Because, um, you know, got to be dedicated and professional. But it could be um, Mushin sending their apologies for their absence. I don't even see a thing to grab or interact with yet. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Yeah, I'm not, my brain is not in a puzzle mode. This is going to be interesting. See, I didn't have... We don't need that on. Oh, well that's... Like... This is still fine because you do this, right? This, and then you can still reach that one. So I still get to open both. Um, but I don't get to open that. Okay, we'll deal with that. Um, yeah, so I didn't have uh, one of my usual appointments today. Uh, as I've moved that to a different point in the week. So that I won't be as mentally wrecked. Um, I won't be as mentally wrecked come the evening for streaming purposes. However, however, um, then I'm also slightly sick. <laughs> so that kind of just, you know, puts pay to that. But surely it's not. Is it? Because I'll be crossing the streams, right? Like, that can't be... Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do what feels like the obvious thing, but this is so wrong, because I'm going to do this, I'm going to do this. And then, yeah. Hmm. We did it. Oh, because it's drawing it through and it's disrupting. That's weird. I didn't know that, that interaction was how that worked. Hmm. Hmm. Apologies, Saz. Yeah, I'm on Snapchat. Um. Yeah, what I'll do is, when I post the uh, the video, um, I'll include my Snapchat deets, because, well, why not? You know, community building, etc. Okay, so that, that noise is getting annoying. So... Alright, the first thing to think of is where's the high ground. I don't see any, so I presumably need to run the red for a longer... Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, the red is the one that needs to be on the outside edge. So, um... Mm -hmm. Ah, but then it doesn't open... Ah, but it doesn't need to. Okay, so let me set this up. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, no, hey, wait. Yes, no, 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 yes, this is correct, yes, this is correct, this is correct. So I want that, and I want that, and I do that, then, so that's open that way, which means I can remove this, which means that one is 
now shut. Okay. Um, I've now got this one. I can do here, I guess. Yep. Okay. Okay, so what I need is for this red one to uh, is it possible to see both? Yes, here. Okay, yeah. Okay. That goes there. Goes there. Oh, it's not, it's not complete? Oh, no, it is, it is. Okay, that one, that one. Oh, it's just hidden, I see. So that's what the grey means, but it is still gonna... Ah. Oh, no, wait, it's still... No, it's not. Okay. I'm almost right. Oh shit, I can hit that one as well. Okay, well, whatever. Where did this go? Really? Oh, I shouldn't have connected it there. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, that wasn't necessary. Um, okay. Sort of shot myself in the foot there for that one. Okay, you there, you there, you there. And that should fix everything, right? I can do that. A bajow. Alright, sweet. Solving problems. Oh, we have a Shanud! Hello! Hello, hello, hello. Oh, I have to briefly um, wipe my nose. I'm not gonna blow my nose. I'm not gonna, not gonna do that to you guys on stream. But yeah, I got the, I got the legit sniffles. Mm. Ugh. Oh! Shanud um, is here in chat, but all all you're getting is the next show, 5th of June image. Yeah, no, we've been live uh, since um, 7, which you possibly can't hear me say right now. Um, mm. Mm -mm -mm. But NBN, ah. <laughs> well done, Shannon. Yeah, excellent. That is brilliant timing. The moment you log in, you hear me declaring, hello. Yes, this is what we want. Well, I'm solving puzzles. Yeah, really good to hear that you're getting NBN. Ah, oh, at last. Um... Yeah, it's still internet in the sense of, you know, there are times when it's just patchy and shitty and it's not cool. Like, it's it's never permanently good, but it's pretty good when it's good. I've read a message on a wall that speaks of a world of endless sand. I would like to make it far enough to see that. I think I read that last week. Alright, puzzle. Yeah, it's going to be a puzzle-heavy sesh, I think. Cracking through this area. I mean, again, I don't have to be completionist. I don't have to complete all the puzzles to, to win the world, but... It's so hard not to. Not to lie to you. Right. So you are opening that, which allows me to. Okay. So I actually can't get this out of here until I have another one doing exactly that. So that's what that's for, right? This will allow me to have to own both. Yep. Cool. 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 cool, cool. Hey! Oh, and that's why it's angled up, so that you're not going to cross the stream. That is very clever. Alright, cool. Now, presumably that means I own both now, which means I can get rid of that one there in a moment. But I'll deal with this first. Oh yeah, this is... This is easy. Well, presuming I'm right. Yeah, okay, sweet. That's the thing with puzzles, isn't it? Is that it depends how your brain works. Some puzzles I find easy and other puzzles I find incredibly hard. And I there are going to be people out there who are the inverse of that. Who just click to things that I bang my head against for hours. Um, screaming in pain and anger. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Says Rage quit Portal 1 and never went back. Interesting. Um... I loved Portal 1. Uh, I 
remember getting stuck on some of those puzzles until I was like, oh, yep, and then and then punch through it. Um, yeah, I, I loved the first portal. Um, was it the puzzles or was it the like spatial stuff that made you quit? As I've talked to a lot of people who literally they can't just do the portal thing because they they, they can't either think with portals or the act of going through portals makes them feel sick. Um, I'd be curious to know. Um, Place of old one comment done, hello. Excellent. Excellent. Um, oh, says it was the bullshit running jumps. Okay, yeah. Yeah, it was also, like some of those puzzles were legit dexterity puzzles. So yeah, that's fair, that's fair. If that's not what you were in it for, um, you know, if that's not what was doing you justice, then oh, I, I get that, I get that. I loved Portal 2. Portal 2, I feel like, had maybe less of that stuff. Uh, seek out those in this world that would help you, though only one of us can transcend. We will all share in the burden and in the rewards, the shepherd. You've changed, dog. Oh, I read this last week. Yeah, everything I do now, I do for those who come after me, yet in so doing, I find peace for myself as well. This paradox is the foundation of my existence. I do love to jump around. Alright. Jump around. Locked from inside. I've stopped paying as much attention to these titles. And these murals are cool, but now that we've seen so many of them, um, and they're all the same, it's all the same Anzac Day barbecue from antiquity, and I've seen this structure a ton of times, it's... The thing that actually doesn't serve this game is its size and length in terms of this visual stuff, because someone put time and effort into this, and um, it all looks the same as the other stuff I've seen, so I kind of glaze over it. It doesn't have new stuff, and to be fair, making new assets for every single area would have been a huge blowout of budget. So, I get it, but I don't know, maybe it's a length thing. Maybe it's me hunting for more content and, and meaning when perhaps I don't need that right away, you know? Okay, so that was too easy. That's good, let's go hunting. Treats. Okay. There's, the, there's another one. Um, seeing a. Okay. Oh, okay, right. I was going to connect them. Like, wait, I can't. There's no thing. Okay, so I need to get that. If I, if I chain it from here through to... That's not going to bloody work, is it? And this is it? This was the only way in? It was a one-way thing? I mean, these will drop down when I get the piece, I'm sure, but... Okay. Yeah, so this opens that, which is necessary, but I can shoot one down here at the same time. Okay. I think I might be able to... Uh, I don't know. This is possibly tough. Maybe that's what this area here is for, it's a kind of, um... Okay. Right, you connect that there. Let's see if I can't thread the needle. Alright. Keep you open. Ah. Oh. Exquisite. Yeah! Fuck yeah, all right. Cool. I wonder if that was the legit solution or whether it's um, one of those things where I've, you know, threaded a part through a level that they didn't quite realize would be the case. Because these sort of puzzles, I bet that's a huge problem and something they try to iron out as much as possible in testing. Hmm. Oh, Saz, I enjoyed watching Matt play Portal 2 because J.K. Simmons... Oh, yeah, yeah. J.K. Simmons, Deadly Serious Simmons, they're all good. Every iteration of that man is, is delicious. Mm. Shanud, I think I watched the opening scene of Portal 2 once. I think you may a uh, Gilly Street place. Um, I have played that game a few times. I really like showing the opening to people. Like, the particularly because at the time, for me at least, like, this was... It looked so fucking good. It looked way better than um, 
anything else I had seen. And a lot of it was to do with physics and, you know, them valve, them valve peeps love their physics. They love their physics puzzles. So much so that they actually repeated themselves a lot in Half-Life 2 with some of them. Which, you know, um, I forgave them because the game was so good, but it felt a bit slapdash, I suppose. Okay, so I need to have that open because I need to get the red line through. So where's the... there was another one, wasn't there? I was looking at a spare? Yeah, okay, cool. Alright, so... I should have threaded this the... Hmm. Okay, so that gets that open. And then... Are these relying on any reds? No. No, no. This is all internal. This is all internal. So if I subtract the red, it should be okay, right? Because this is a blue gate. So if I grab this, I can still get in. I can't... Oh, I need to get my other rods first. Well, that's okay. I can do that. Let me, let me fetch my rods. Rod steward. You. Come with me. Alright. Bang! Give it to me. Fuck yeah. Ah, oh, smashing through puzzles tonight. Yeah, I, I actually feel pretty crisp mentally. I have some brain fog in the sense that I kind of just always have brain fog now, almost every single day, but I feel better than I have on other Monday nights banging my head against this game. Awesome. Awesome. Ooh. Music is very soothing. Yeah, I absolutely agree, Shannon. This is a... They've, they've really leaned into the beauty aspect of this game. They could have made a puzzler in, in many different guises, and it seems like they opted for, you know, beautific. For thematic reasons as well, perhaps. It has an impression that is well undercut by all this generalised talk of the apocalypse. Yeah. I think we're almost done with this world. Let me let me check the, the board. One left. Yeah. Yeah, mine leaping. Windows into a labyrinth. That's comforting. I think this is the first block piece we've seen. Interesting that it still has a, um, a silver backing to it. And it's not, even, it's not even a cube. Call that a cube. Okay. Checking for secrets. Tchotchke, tchotchke things. Yeah, so this game shares one... Th I mean, it shares more things with Soma than I ever expected it to. But one thing it shares with Soma, and it may share with every game I do on this channel, is there is going to be a lot of gameplay between me and the plot. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. Um, in terms of having fun, where it might be a bad thing is in terms of it... Oh, can I... Yeah, I can thread this later. Um, like, it might make some of the streams... Not dub streams, like, there'll still be social times, we'll still have fun, but I won't have much to talk about in terms of theory. Um, so it's good that I'm just sort of grinding through these puzzles at a, at a cracking speed. And maybe I should be prioritising... Hmm. It's just a weird cornery bit. Um, 
yeah, yeah, this is another tick in the um, game is mostly game and incidentally uh, science fiction AI plot thing, which, you know, isn't a problem and in fact may just be a product of the medium. My god. Alright. Yeah, they weren't wrong with the labyrinth thing. I'm a bit... Mm. Mm. Oh, Superman! Hello! Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, which world is this? I'm in... Uh, world... 6? I'm, I'm in A, right? I'm in the A building. Um, interesting that you say, what world is this? Um, that sort of constitutes, not quite a spoiler, but um, the use of that term um, gives information. Which, okay, sure. Should I be... No, I can't from here, yeah, because this is in the way. I can't thread that needle quite how I want to. Um, yeah, that got, that got me through here, which got me what? Oh, got me that piece. Okay, so I don't need to... Yeah, I don't need to leave this on. That's fine, that can stay up, right? So what I really want then is to... get it here, right, no, mm, I can't yet, can I, also, like, where would I even, if it was here, maybe, and, um, it's sort of possible, but that, that seems, seems weirdy and beardy, oh, that might be alright, though, hang on, how is this positioned, if I, hang on, I just left it there. What am I going for? I want it to be here. I want it to be there. Which means I want to see there. Okay. Actually, what I should be doing first is connect there. And then connect here. Just put it there and then. Alright, let's see if I can make this work. So that's kind of funky. Um, Seems, seems strange. Can I even... That one. No, that's not it. Definitely that. Where was it? Was it here? I could have sworn I was seeing through... Oh, maybe it was clipping to here, but not... Okay, there you are, there you are, okay. That's not going to work at all. To get both, I have to be minimum here, and then I, yeah, okay. Fuck that up. Let me just, yep, see you there, see you there. Yeah, no. No, I was seeing, um, Yeah, I was seeing the red part, which means I was... Yeah, okay, yep, 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 alright. So that's not what's meant to happen there, okay. Take this through here, though. And then... Okay, there. Alright. Okay, there to there. Okay, so that's what I do. There, which gets me into here, which gets me another one. Whew, multi stage. Crazy. Crazy. Mm -mm -mm. Let me just sip some ginger, check up on, on chat. Oh, lots of chat, I love it. Good stuff, good stuff. Place of old, three comments done, guys. You get claps from me, that's awesome. <laughs> Shanud, I did not consider that the game had keyworded world. No, no, that's fair. And I mean, games like Mario and whatnot have put us in the mind of different areas being worlds and that being a generic term for level, right? Like if, 
If I had been asked, if Superman had said, what level, I'd be like, oh, well, you know, blah. But because of world and because we're dealing here with, um, a, a, you know, strange future history um, with fake sort of Matrix style AI worlds or computer worlds, at least I think that's, what's, that's what the game has tried to make me believe and now has made me doubt. Um, the conversation I had with NLA last session. Um, yeah, the, I'm, I'm possibly putting more context context into that than is uh, required, possible, even reasonable. Mm. Anyway. Anyway. Mm. So the real, the real mission. Okay, I feel like this, I feel like this is the, the plan, right? Like that's the aperture that we're shooting for. So we come over here, we grab this, so it doesn't need to be here anymore. What it does need to do is be there, there, right? I get through another spot into here, and then I need that. I mean, one here doing both would be great, so I need to get one here somehow. Son of a bitch. Okay. I can't... Can I, from that angle, do a double... get that, but I can't get... You. Alright. Um. There's no more wasted ones. Like, this is the one supply. It has to come from here. Oh! Okay. Here it is. This is how we do it. Okay. And we'll get this. That one doing that is. It shouldn't be doing that, it should be, it should be here. Yep. Yep. Okay. So that means I'm now harnessing through that point, which I believe is the intention. Still doesn't fix my... So really, this should be here. So that it can get through to another one there, I guess. I feel like I'm setting up for success if I do this. All right. get one here, that, oh, it's not going to get both though is it, it's still going to be, ah, oh, this is fiendish, oh, hot, damn, Shanud, sci-fi AI guy, king of extra context, yeah that's, well, that's me, I've, long been that guy. And you know what? I'm happy to own that. I think there are worse things to be. There's no other way in, is there? This didn't open up into a magical realm of no. Because... There's one way into the maze, which means I need to keep this open. Close in. Go for 
there, all the way to there. Okay. Direct link. So. I don't think I'll ever get to reclaim this, right? I'll never get this back. This basically has to be here, right? Because... Mr. Jammer, tell me, give me a dream. Okay, brilliant. So, now that jam's there, because it has to. Claim you. I'm trapped in here, but that is so fine. Now I have the supply. Okay. You know, put this here. Got one extra. Got one more. So this grabs from here. In there doesn't. No, that's a. No, that was for that. What's the purpose of that? There's no direct line across. I can't select in there, can I? No, that's... So bloody close. Here, then, yeah, it's a wall. Woo! Mm -mm 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 -mm. Okay. Okay. Some people in chat saying they think they've got it. That's fine. That is so fine. I'm, I'm okay with you guys, you know. And don't forget, you can use the whisper function. Um, it's possible to talk privately with one another. Um, if you want to discuss, ooh, 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 I figured it out. Because that's fine. If you figure it out, that's awesome. Um, but I definitely appreciate um, not sharing with me what you think the solution is. Or indeed, what the solution just is. So. One here to divert all the way down to there. That's fine. Changing the angle matter not terribly much. Because it has to get to a point here anyway. And this hits that and can't hit multiple. Okay. If I were to... In a connector here... No. No, you can't, you can't loop it through. But this one is openable by bullshit, but it's a huge waste of resources. Um, yeah. And the only way in is through that door, correct? There's no way I can cheat my way back or anything. No, it's... it's... I'm again stymied by a robot who refuses to clump... Clump and or jime! Uh, I love, I love clumping and jiming. It's my favourite. Mm. I 
want it. Full. It's exactly the same um, ethos that got me the yeah yeah. In retrospect, really simple answer. Once I got to this point. In retrospect, really simple, and that is elegant puzzle design because of that. Brilliant. All right. Oh, yeah. So these bricks are. So that's the third just cube that I've got that is just set aside and, and not part of the... That's so strange. I don't know what those are for. Intriguement. Um, nor do I want to know. Well, I want the game to tell me. Um, yeah, conquered. Bam. Let's do it. Oh, poor Shanud. Video cutting in and out. <sighs> um, as a selfish individual, who wants to communicate with you all the time. Um, I can't wait for you to get the NBN. Well, that's, that's interesting. It always says seven for me. Like, it, it reverses itself. Because it should be... Hang on. Or am, I, or am I an idiot? No, it's... um. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, six was the one I hadn't conquered yet. Because of that puzzle. Which I got stuck on. But um, we haven't used the hint system yet. So, we haven't unlocked the hint system yet. Alright. So we've already unlocked this cool upstairs content. Let's go back into it. Let's return to the upper world. There we go. Which button was which? Oh, and Sofa Man may be cutting out. Cutting in and out because dinner. That's fine. Um, you must feed your ravenous craw. I respect that. It's respectable. Okay. Now, I've done my due diligence and bounced around all, all around up here. I, l I love this sort of design. I mean, I honestly, seeing it in a first-person context makes me long for a gun. Uh, not because guns are especially cool, but because um, first-person shooters are cool. Basically. And you are... Yep, I've, I've done you. I've dingled your dangle. All right. Cool. And we didn't get terribly far up there, because of course we didn't. All right. Well, let's go to B. I see no reason not to go in alphanumerical order. Um, let's check for content just in case. Beep boop, beep. Whoop, beep boop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. Right. Ah. <sighs> All right. Ah. Oh, damn, 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 damn. Place of old, seven comments done. Woo! Well done. Well done, you. And Saz eating rice krispies, air quotes, um, because one person's breakfast, another person's dinner. Such is the nature of the air. Um, all right, we have Oxy... Oxyrhynchus? Ox, o Oxyrhynchus? Oxyrhynchus and Book of Osiris. The great irony of the Oxyrhynchus papyri is that such a vital source of information about the ancient world exists only because of a garbage dump. While the Library of Alexandria burned at the hands of fanatics and conquerors, depriving us of unimaginable insights into history, philosophy and art, the papers carelessly thrown away by the citizens of Oxyrhynchus, Oxyrhynchus survive to the modern day. And although it is true that a great deal of what we know today is because of the conscious efforts of individual and organisations, such as the spectator translation and preservation work, uh, done during the Islamic Golden Age, so much more is simply the result of coincidence and luck. We've lost text that the ancients considered to be absolutely essential while utterly trivial, even plagiarised work has survived unharmed. Something, 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 so if we want our descendants to remember more than glittering emo vampires and auto-tuned teen pop stars, we have to invest, brr, make sure that, ah. Uh. Um. Wow. That's really cool. I like the idea that a garbage dump 
um, it's a kind of treasure trove of information. That's rad. Oh, farewell, Shanud. Farewell. Fare thee well. All right. A uh, book of Osiris. Wiki. The book of the scribe of Osiris. Good God. Sometimes also referred to as the book of the journey to Aru is an ancient Egyptian text discovered in the excavation of Osirikas. Okay, Osirikas. It has caused a certain degree of controversy among Egyptologists, uh, as some argue that it is a classic funerary text such as the Book of Coming Forth by Day, while others believe it to be a poetic work not intended to be understood literally. Okay. The book tells the story of a dying man who asks a scribe about the afterlife. The scribe, a servant of Osiris, describes how the man's ka, life force, will become separated from his ba, personality, and how he will have to reunite the two and become an ak, ak living intellect, uh, passing a series of trials in the duat, underworld, in order to reach the paradise of Aru. Unlike similar, unlike similar texts, the book of the scribe of Osiris focuses less on giving advice or something. A recent study, Carnahan slash Hassan, suggests that the text may have been intended as philosophical commentary on the world of the living through the allegory of the duat. It remains unclear whether this was the intent of the original pre-Alexandrian author or a result of the later translation into Greek. The earlier manuscript, which is considered to be more authentic, is too fragmentary to provide answers, so perhaps further excavation may something something. Um. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, um. I don't yet know what this is saying about the larger text. And part of this is because I am starting to get actually quite the headache and reading is actually really difficult right now for some reason. I'm realizing that as I'm reading these that, um, yeah, it's, it's getting really hard to absorb. Like reading it out makes it better. And in fact, if I wasn't reading it out, I would be having a harder time. But you know those times where your brain or your eyes or some part of your head is just completely fucked up. And so you try and read something but line after line, none of it is entering your head. You're, you're reading word after word, but the previous words just are sort of melting away into the ether uh, in your mind's eye. That's sort of what's going on, except it hurts as well. So I can't say that I've got a good grip on this, but thank God for the diary system because I don't have to acknowledge potential existence right now. It could just be cool flavor. All right. Um... Wow, yeah, um, I can't even picture potential solutions to this, so I'm just gonna dirtle until I solve it, which might be an embarrassing amount of time. Oh, never mind. Wait, I've solved it, but I've, wait, no, I haven't, because if I, hang on, if I do that, I'm just gonna put that there and then, mmm, that won't work. Well, that... No, that won't work either. <clears throat> nope. This, I need to put this in a space that it is the least obtusive, and I think this is it, right? You want oh, you want it in a space that... Oh, would you just work? Thank you. You want it in a space that causes the least problems? Yeah, okay. So the, the, four, the long four rectangle was in fact a red herring. It could have made things more complicated when all it did was restrict the bounds of the puzzle very neatly. Okay, sweet. Sweet! Oh, so for man, I'm sure you can revisit the text through your journal. Yeah, yeah, and I total, I'll totally have to. Um, I'll be re revisiting a bunch of it when, um, you know, the penny starts to drop on the larger plot. Um, yeah, yeah, all right. Oh, yeah, so the silver on the back of those shapes is the magnet. That actually is perfect and cool. I mean, that's funny. They've gone to these lengths to say, you know, it's these tiny pieces and you magnet and it fits in and it's, you know, a metal, it's a little metal puzzle, but then they're also big floaty pieces in this world. Although, although, okay, so right now we are treating, um, 
these places that I go as not being real, but I bring something back from them, right? Or I discover something, and then when I am back in this real world, I suddenly have the thing. So is it possible that, you know, these small, tiny puzzle pieces are being delivered to my robo-inventory here in the real world when I solve the puzzles in the Matrix? Is that what they're getting at? What happens if I push this first? Send it down. Use, use! I thought it was gonna be the sort of thing where I could send the elevator. A new land stands Ooh. before you, my child. And know that this is a land of death, but also great beauty. As you walk amongst these tombs, oh. consider all those who came before you, and how they served the greater purpose of which you are also part. Oh, wow. Well, this explains the text that I just read before coming in here. So each of these lands are themed. Yeah, this is a fucking theme park. Man, well lit weenie has never been more uh, relevant. Because this, look at this weenie. Look at this shit. This is all eye-catching, eye-drawing stuff. Yeah, B. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hot damn. God, this is wild. I really like this game. Mm, 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 mm. Alright. Wet my whistle. My whistle is sufficiently wet. Um, I can get this thing, so I'm just gonna do it. Because I love... It's a fan? Oh, is this a jump pad? Oh, okay. Fucking... Oh yeah, of course. I can see up the top, but I can't get to that. All I can do is get into one. That's fine. At some point, I'm going to have to go back and get that other piece if I'm going to want to open other bit things. Like, it might be that I don't need to necessarily. You. What strange thing are you? Oh, it's a... Uh... What? I don't even know. Something, something that looks like a play button at the top in the UI, but then when I look at this, it looks like a safe? Or a, you know, like one of those voice boxes you speak speak to at a drive-thru. You place your order. Bang! Let's do it. Let's do it, guys. Yes. I have promised you eternal life. But know that eternity may only be attained by those who serve a purpose greater than themselves. All else is decay. So it was written in the hidden words before the beginning of time. Yeah, there's the hidden words again. Um, yeah, is, is this game an exploration of the concept of a runaway AI that is fed on a corpus of religious texts, first and foremost? Is that the point of this? That it's a self-styled god, not because it thought itself to be immortal, a mortal, not immortal, and then elevated itself to immortal status, elevated itself to godhood, but because this is just what it believes about the world. Oh, that music. I'm finally getting some sense out of the entity in the archive, though at some cost to my sanity. Hmm. I'm beginning to think this Elohim wields no more control over the world than we do. Sheep. So cool. These fucking QR codes are so cool. Oh, I can... <coughs> I can paint a message. Mm, okay. I have no idea what's going on. Do you, I mean, none of these are going to be seen unless one of my uh, PlayStation friends also plays this game. And hey, friends, if you own a PS4, be my friend, play this game. Let's communicate through QR codes. Um, so, we have a few options. I have no idea what's going on. Do you? The certification program is a sham. What does a computer know about humanity? Elohim lied about the tower. I stepped foot inside and returned to tell the tower. Well, that definitely happened to us. The tools to overcome this place have been provided to us. We need only learn how to use them. Well, that's some one with faith bullshit. Um, although not quite. Uh, you'll be needing a special device to solve this one. Have you tried crossing the laser beams? It feels as though I've been struggling with this problem for days. Did you take so long? Elohim keeps telling me I'm doing well, but the puzzles are simply impossible. Am I going crazy or the computer terminals have a personality? Um, 
So the point of the paint is to signal between other players. It's a social thing, if I'm understanding it correctly. So that explains some of these messages, but yeah. Oh, place of old, aren't these the same as before? You know what? They probably are. They probably, probably are. Um, I don't know what we did last time. So I'm going to do the Elohim Tower. Because, yeah, Lone Toad. Sure. If we're repeating ourselves, whatever. Tabs. All right, bam. Oh shit, tell me something. Do you always do as you're told? Yes, no. Am I obliged to answer that question? No response. Um, oh, guys, what do we want? I feel like am I obliged to answer that question is the strong one. Um, the do you always do as you're told thing is the most accurate, the no. And it's also accurate in game because we went in the tower even though we were told not to. So it both represents, um, it, it pleases me from a personal perspective, but also it's true. Uh, we've been role playing this character. Mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Seeing a couple people say obliged. Yeah, yeah, obliged. I only only asked because I couldn't help but notice the stash of brightly coloured knickknacks you're collecting. Fucking burn. Don't you think it a mite odd that the big voice in the sky keeps telling you to find these doodads, yet forbidding you to use them to climb the great big tower in the middle of it all? Um, you're testing me, I must resist the tower's temptation. I'll climb it when I'm good and ready. I didn't know I could use these doodads to get in the tower. Well, it, we're clearly saying the second one, right? We're not going to say the one with faith bullshit above that. Yeah, there's no way. I'll climb it when I'm good and ready. Okay, no need to get huffy. You'd be amazed how many just do as they're told without stopping to think for themselves, but maybe you're different. Then again, maybe you're exactly the same. Maybe everyone climbs the tower, and the only way to win is to stay down here with the mortals. Are you trying to manipulate me, or do you really think so? Uh, which question, guys? Question one or question two? Mmm. This is some, um, would you kindly stuff, right? The game gives you just enough agency within the space but you, you it's still linear in the sense of you completing goals and the hooks are such that you are compelled to do them so i don't feel forced down a linear path i feel compelled to to solve these puzzles and 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 push my way through but in doing so i follow the whim of a force that is greater than myself in this case the the narrator elohim and now somebody's criticizing that and it's a just criticism i've just been doing what i'm told mm. Mm, 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 mm. Oh, interesting. Um, Saz saying he's trying to antagonise us. He not not sure why I said that. Yeah, it, it's interesting, right? Um, I have a lot of thoughts about talking about um, a, a disembodied voice or a person on the internet in particular, and then the immediate assumption of, of he. I mean, internet voices. There's an entire gaggle of dude bros. Um, you know, constantly. I want to say souring the internet, but the internet's been sour for a while. Um, but yeah, the, the misgendering thing is a, it's a real problem. Um, one, one, yeah. Um, you try and manipulate me. Uh, oh, Sofa Man having dinner. Enjoy, Sofa Man. May it maintain your physical heart. Uh, let's just go one. Nope. In fact, I'm all in favour of you poking about up there, if only to see what you find. Must be something juicy if it's forbidden by His Highness. Then again, maybe not. I'll be off then. Just wanted to drop in and run a little interference. Whatever you do, do take care. You have bigger problems than the voice in the clouds. Oh, not very helpful. You don't like to say his name, do you? I will. Mmm. It's either two or three by my vote. Either two or three. Oh, Saz. Read gender in fiction. I have thoughts about Wonder Woman. Um, yeah, feel free to share. We are, I think we are uh, a pretty good crowd to talk to about that. Certainly the other people in chat. I haven't seen it and am not going to, but not because of any gender thoughts. Um, I'm not seeing it because I haven't been on the DC train for a while, A, and B, I haven't, I don't see movies out very often. I really wanted to see Logan in cinemas and I've been watching, um, Hugh Jackman, Hugh, Hugh Jackman's Wolverine consistently for ages and I, I skipped Logan just because of time and money um, and I'm afraid you know Wonder Woman falls under the same hat which is unfortunate because I hear you know I've been hearing good stuff and I'm glad that people have been going out in droves to support it and giving it really good ratings um, 
But it also means that when people have discussions about it, it's all second hand. Like I, I, I haven't, when I do see it, I, and I do intend to see it someday, um, I'll be able to join in the discussion in a more, you know, from, from the perspective of someone who's seen the damn film. But yeah, yeah. Uh, people are saying second question. Yeah, screw it. Yeah. Terminating support session done. Resuming our... Yeah, awesome. So I think... These little chat moments between this... I mean, I don't think this is the MLA. I doubt it is. Pretty interesting if it is. And if every now and then the MLA talks to us without that framing, that that's slightly muddy writing. I, I wouldn't recommend that if I was... Um, talking to somebody about, like, if they were like, oh, I've got this cool idea, I would say, well, don't do it this way. Um, so I'm presuming this is not the MLA. Yeah, that's very strange. But yeah, I think these little narrative moments of conversation are based on how far I'm getting in the game, because, you know, we've, we've gone into an area and then we've gotten beat boops from, a, from an eye, and it was more MLA quiz stuff, but... I think it was time context or progress context sensitive, not location context sensitive. Uh, but that's that's my that's my guess. Oh, okay, says um, telling me to watch the hell out of it. Noted. Um, without spoilers, in brief, she spends too much time being handed life lessons by men, and naturally, the romantic subplot is super unnecessary. It's a really good movie. The character overall is proper awesome. Fucking fantastic. I'm so glad. I'm really glad. Um, yeah, I definitely want that movie to do well. I want it to set... It's... Yeah, Hollywood and those sort of larger corporate entities are so frustrating because the market is there and it's an internal belief system that prevents them from doing the thing that they want to do the most, which is fucking make money. Of course this shit is going to make them money, right? It's not that it's impossible to market, it's just impossible for them to get over that internal hurdle of it being a good idea. So I'm glad that this step has been taken, and I hope that it then leads to more steps. Because, yeah, representation, of course it's fucking properly, you stupid. Ah, anyway. Osiris1.txt. Original translation by E.A. Wallace Budge. Annotations by Blah. The dying man went unto the scribe who resided in Pur Majed and said, Behold, I'm weak of body. My, oh, sorry, one. And said, Behold, I'm weak of body. My days under the holy son of Amun-Ra too are coming to an end. Though I have spent my years in service of the two lands, I have not studied the question mark. Tell me, you who are wise in the writings of the dead, what lies ahead on my journey? What will I face in the land of the Westerners? Three. And the scribe spoke, saying, at the appointed time, blah. One. It is likely the location was changed according to... Oh, I see. Footnotes. So, per Majed, uh, it's likely the location was changed according to who the copy of the book was made for. The dying man is an avatar of the owner. Okay. Amun-Ra, too. In the older manuscript, this is rendered as something. Some controversy as to whether it... Something else. Uh, three. Uh, the dead compare with Kenti Amin. Do you foremost the Westerners? A title later given to Osiris. Five. Sometimes mistaken for a mistranslation. On Budge's part, this is actually almost certainly a mistranslation by the ancient scribe. Equivalent portion of the older manuscript is sadly not based on. Okay. Um, I've no idea. Got it. Lyrics. HTML. Um, cannot load video file. 24 million views. My new song with lyrics. Gotta laugh about this stuff. Laughter is the best medicine. Lol. Lyrics. I've got it. You've got it. He's got it. She's got it. Mummy's got it. Daddy's got it. Baby's got it. Granny's got it. Lady's got it. Fatty's got it. Happy's got it. Sam. What the fuck is this? I think this is intentionally asinine. Um, and I think it's there because this is an archive of some important stuff and some random stuff. Like, this is meant to be, what, like a cross-section of the internet? Like a thin slice, um, with the bulk of it being from the archive project, but some of it being just random shit? Crazy. Crazy, 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 crazy. Hmm. to see episode 204. I don't know about everybody else, but I'm afraid of dying. I don't see any reason to believe there's an afterlife. I'm an organism like any other. When my brain stops working, my consciousness will cease and I will be gone. Correct. And you know what? I can't just embrace that. I can't say I'm okay with it or I've accepted it or some nonsense like that. I don't want to have an ending. It terrifies me. 
If I had a genie right now, I'd wish for immortality. Who wouldn't? Oh, you wouldn't really want to be immortal, the pseudo-philosophers say. Pretentious drivel. Everybody wants to live forever. Maybe everybody deserves to live forever too. But we can't, so here we are. Live with it. Or rather, don't. This sort of shit frustrates me, because I get that someone on a, on a fundamental level doesn't want to die, and I get that that's probably true of most people, but I hate anybody's rant that leads to them, or, or ends with them, or the crescendo is them saying, well, I feel this way, and if you don't feel this way, if you say you don't feel this way, you're full of shit, you totally feel the same way I do. Because that is a really shitty way to... And that's a shitty way to treat people. And that it's just wrong and arrogant. That's just fucked. Like, I get that you believe it so strongly that it's hard to empathise with or understand others who, who feel that other way. But you should try, because if they're saying they do and you don't believe them, you're the asshole. Like, you're the douche. The strength of your feeling is not enough to override the feelings of others. But fucking, of course it isn't. Apparently, um, uh, oh, damn. Yeah, apparently tonight's the night for rants. Um, it's a ranty night. Can I? Just this happy little robot, dirtling about. Hup! No, I have to... Hey! Alright, cool. Whew. Yeah, sip of water. One moment. Oh, nine comments done. Well done, place of old. I say, getting getting the blue name, you, you stand out um, quite a lot in chat. But like, at a single glance, I'm like, oh, hey. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. oh, no, Saz having, having stream problems? That's unfortunate. I'm sorry. Um, if it helps, I was just sipping some water, so that's probably not premium content. Oh, Crossroads, I should probably be. So it's a bunch of puzzles. It's always a bunch of puzzles. I, I'd be interested to see if this game breaks those expectations at any... Okay, can I... Hang on. Yeah, if I'm good at jump, if I... Like, can I choose to stand here? Hey, I can get up here. Awesome. The controls aren't amazing though, I'll be honest with you. And getting up here didn't get me a uh, dick about butts, so this was probably a bust, but... Oh, okay. Yep, yeah, sweet. Double jump. Double jump is the trick. Kip off. Because I reckon one of these is gonna, is gonna have secrets. It's gonna hold state secrets. Let's do it. Let's try it out. Oh, this music. Yep, okay. I just need to trust in my ability to, to harness the movement of this game. Because sometimes it feels like I'm a stupid robot who should be able to jump more and should be able to achieve more with his robo body. Um, and so my assumption is it's going to stymie me when I try and do stuff like this. But then as it happens, hey. Oh, boom. That was worth it. Um, my throat hurts. So I'm actually a bit mad at myself that I've come up here now. Um, we're going to hear this again. We're going to hear the beep boops and we're going to come back to this because I want to solve a puzzle and not have to read stuff out. Ooh, give up. <laughs> Speaking of reading stuff out. Bam. I made a box float. Seriously, it was awesome. Eight. Okay. So these QR codes are not just from people who believe that the world is or isn't real. It's possibly from people who are excited about physics. Like, physics in-game. Like, that's the kind of comment from somebody who's just tried out a physics engine and is excited about it. Unless it's part of a puzzle? Like, box floating is part of a... weird. Yeah, the language and identities of these people is so odd. Now, I wonder if the... the robots, much like Simon and the people in Soma, I wonder if the robots that are being... put into this... these little worlds by Elohim are based on, you know, internet account personalities, you know? Hmm. Mm -mm -mm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Alright, I'm gonna... Window through a door. Ah, oh, taunting me. 
Okay, so there's a blocker. Just exquisite. Such an exquisite game. Okay. I must say, the, um, the artifacts, like this thing that I'm holding here, this thing here, they fit better for me with the Egyptian aesthetic, probably because of Stargate. And I suspect Stargate worked because of some... Well, I think there's an aesthetic match, right? I don't think this is weird coincidence. I think this is... There's something about that combination. Okay. So I want to get here. What are, what are you? What are you? Oh. Okay. This was, I've got this here. Well, buddy, you can... You can hold up. Okay, so you're there. I want to be able to shoot you in there. And across there. I can't yet. I want to keep you in mind for what I do. This clearly isn't what I'm going to do, but... It's one of those timing things again. I just don't understand this one. I figured I'd try and make some progress here, but honestly, it's such a thankless task compared to what else is out there. At. Hmm. Interesting thing to say. It's a weird... Distance. Okay. Yeah, that's never gonna. It's never gonna work completely. Oh, of course. So this part is now superfluous? Yeah. Um, does that mean I can... Hang on, if I take this out, though, I ruin it, right? Because this has to be... Yeah. No, okay. Drop that. So this is connected always to there and there. So that's permanent. So what I need to do is only connect these only connect these two. Yeah. And then that's just on. I can take that and it's fine. Awesome. Fuck yeah, that's really cool. Oh, I love that. I love that puzzle. Sweet. Do you are? Yeah, no, yes. <sighs> More fan. More fan for me. Fan fan rub rub. To quote, um... Uh, not Hardy. Um, Lord Nelson, when he was dying. 
My god, did that guy die by degrees. But didn't he basically get hacked apart battle after battle? Ooh, Saz loves Stargate. Yeah, I really liked Stargate as a kid. And a lot of that was um, aunt and, and, and cousin um, really loving Stargate and thus showing me a lot of Stargate. Um, we spent... I spent a lot of time at their place when my grandma was sick in a hospital. Um, and we just, you know, we visited them anyway as well in town. But yeah, um, oh, it was really cool. I really enjoyed... You know, Tilk was obviously a super cool character. Um, seeing, you know, Richard Dean Anderson. I'd always liked MacGyver, so that was rad. And I mean, I even liked the original movie. Like, the movie was cool, I thought. I don't know that it's... I feel like I watched it recently on Netflix and it... It was okay for a background movie. Like, I, I, I didn't feel the same about it, having grown up a bit, but yeah. Mmm. Mm -mm -mm. Alright. And yeah, Place of Old appears to be kicking more goals. Well done, Place of Old. Brava. Um. Oh, this is... Yeah, right. So if I'm doing left-hand rule sort of stuff... I'm too, I'm too curious, so I'm gonna go check that eye, eye box. It's gonna hurt my throat, but it's worth it. Because then I get to celebrate with puzzles uh, until we close out the stream. Hoppa. No clear case resources. Mutation, capacity, and evolution. Well, open mutation.html. The role of mutation in evolution is particularly fascinating. Mutation is essentially an error in the organism's central database. A variable gets changed, a piece of information is accidentally doubled or combined with another. Most of the time, the result is the equivalent of a bug, cause any, anything from minor problems to complete system shutdown, i.e. death. But sometimes the new information is functional, giving the organism an advantage against the challenges it faces, in which case it has a much higher chance of being passed to the next generation. Sure, this, this matches what I think evolution is like. Um, I've heard quotes from scientists you know, saying stuff like, everybody thinks they understand how evolution works, very few people actually do, um, which is to say there's a broad concept that people propagate, but the subtleties of it, that are actually core to it, um, get lost in translation, or, 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 or just aren't conveyed to people, or some people just don't get, or, you know. But this matches what I think evolution is like, so yeah, that's my caveat on that one. If you consider how unlikely a beneficial mutation is and how long it takes for such a mutation to propagate, this process can give you an amazing insight into just how vast the genetic history of each living organism, blah, blah, overwrite, etc. Simultaneously, it is intriguing to consider what a major role random errors have played in the evolution of life itself. The same process that has killed so many of us, often in horrific ways, is also responsible for our very existence. <sighs> That's a good point. Yeah. yeah, that's interesting. Okay, evolution. Uh, favoured by George Jameson. Favourited by George Jameson. One of the common misunderstandings about evolution, sometimes accidentally promoted by people who should know better, is that it's an active process. Sometimes the term evolve is even applied to individual beings, as if some invisible force had driven them to suddenly change. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that individuals don't evolve. The term evolution describes a long-term process that can be observed in an entire population across time due to blah. Example, in response to an external threat or challenge. If an individual coincidentally has a trait that allows it to deal with that challenge more effectively than others, it is more likely to pass on that information to its descendants. That information gives them an advantage. So over time, they become the dominant model of that species. The individuals experience no significant genetic change during their lifetimes, but each of them is part of the evolution of the species. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if this is here because I am the latest one. You know, I'm the latest robot, but I'm not seeing directly my predecessors. I'm just seeing the things that they've written, right? Is this the idea that I'm, not, I'm a robotic, not an organism, but the process... Yeah, there's an evolutionary process that leads to my current version because errors in or, or changes or... Mm, I don't know. I don't know if that's what they're trying to say, right? That would be my first guess. Capacity. From Trevor Donovan to Alexander Drennan. Subject, EL capacity. Yeah, no worries. EL is not only ridiculously fast, it also has a bazillion tons of space. Even while hosting a full copy of the archive, it'll totally be able to handle all your project's data needs, assuming its output is as you suggested. I mean, the worst case scenario would be like centuries. That should be enough, right? Right, Trev. Um, centuries have passed. 
stuff still seems to be going okay. I mean, there's you know, a few visual glitches, but whatever. Yeah, I'm, I'm really hot on art as pastiche. Because art is already theft, right? You're already grabbing existing elements, jamming together to make the new thing, and the variability on new is more to do with the ways in which you've combined them in the current cultural context. But when something is introduced like so, without obvious reason, that's I love trying to draw those things together. Um, and that's what makes roguelike so interesting, because you can have procedurally generated content and, um, you know, emergent complexity be a crucial part of the process. And so great stories and great links can be, great stories can be told and great links can be made that were never designed but have narrative weight. I find that really intriguing. Um, that's, that's the jam right there. Okay, so this is obviously not the answer. That's obviously not the answer. Uh. Oh. What's this one called? I think that's a clue. Something about a star. Hmm, mm, I say. <laughs> Saz, I only started watching it, watching Stargate because I had a crush on Daniel Jackson. Yeah, that was a pretty man. That was a, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. I can see that thread. Oh, plays of old, same but for Sam Carter. Yep, absolutely. Absolutely. Hmm. Oh, Crafty. Certainly seems to be pointing you to think about it. The, I presume you mean the evolution thing? Yeah, um... You know, an evolutionary programming is a thing. Yeah. That's kind of cool because, you know, you could make the same case for Soma in some ways, being about, you know, um, corrupted processes, but the corruption is more, um, well, it's villainous, right? Like, the corruption is, is bad because, oh no, oh no, they're, they're, they're Corruption leads to insanity, as opposed to, well, you know, it leading to error is not a ridiculous thing to expect. Um, yeah, I can't, I can't put this in its way. Oh, wow. Holy shit, I did not know it worked like that. Like, I knew they shoved me, but... So that that's kind of like damage. It was doing me damage. Every drink is doing you damage. Or is it every smoke is doing you damage? Is that the ad? I forget. This is very interesting. Like, this is the sort of puzzle where... I don't even get where the puzzle is because it just looks impossible. Huh. When I mean, it's a positioning puzzle, right? What is the point between these two points? So this is always going to get in the way along this axis, right? So if I get inside this one, then it's always going to be a problem here. I mean, yeah. So this one is non-mandatory. This one is mandatory. But this one is also the quickest. And this is really the only one. Genuinely, the only thing I have. Why something about a star? Is it something about five points? 
when you look upon a star? Is this the... I mean... I also don't even know. Like, this is clearly... I point a red laser in from another fucking puzzle area or something, right? Like, I'm guessing that's the, the point there. Actually... I was sort of elevated over there. Oh, that's way too far away. Yeah, there's no way. There are gaps. Oh, there are gaps over there, but there's no gaps in these walls. Right? Like, there's no looking in. Is there a ladder in here? No. This is all just set dressing, high wall stuff. None of it's necessarily relevant. So dumb, like if I was just holding this, well the fact that I have to set it down. I'm gonna leave this one for now because I actually don't even get what the puzzle is for the moment. All I'm doing are the super obvious bad things that a person does when they don't get it, right? Yeah, I'm gonna walk away from this one. I'm gonna try the other ones. There are hidden messages, oh sorry, hidden dangers in this new world. I have inexplicably escaped death any number of times. I suggest vigilance. Who knows what happens to those who step carelessly too often? Samsara. Well, I just copped it, so. Oh, Sci-Fi Guy 830, how are you feeling? I'm actually feeling all right. Provided I'm just doing puzzles, I think it'll be okay. I think I can hack just puzzles. Um, my headache has temporarily receded. <laughs> I say temporarily, like normally I would say, oh, my headache is gone, but um, I suspect it's lurking at the threshold. But no, I'm fine, I'll push on. I wanna, I wanna, if I can do puzzles, I should do puzzles, right? Because the more puzzles I do, the more we can get to story content later. So, yep. Oh, this is gonna be super interesting if it's like a meta puzzle. Like I have to um, solve other puzzles so that I can actually solve that star puzzle, right? Like that's gonna be rad. So if I'm to... So if I... There... 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 Oh. Oh, sorry. And then this... And then that... Okay. Cool. I feel like I've already done this puzzle, basically, before. Um, in another life. Okay, this is as far back as I can... Yep, yeah, can't, yep. Yep. So it has to be basically here. Yep. Great stuff from Saz. Have we discussed the meaning behind Samsara? I recall it being quite interesting. Okay, I have not. This is awesome. This is great. Okay, Saz. Samsara is a Sanskrit word that means wandering or world with a connotation of cyclic, uh, circuitous change. It also refers to the theory of rebirth and cyclicality of life, matter, existence, a fundamental assumption of all Indian religions. Samsara is sometimes referred to with terms or phrases such as transmigration, karmic cycle, reincarnation, and cycle of aimless drifting, wandering, or mundane existence. That is really cool. Yeah, from, from Wikipedia. Yeah, wow. Wow, okay. 
So that adds some cool context to that name. Hmm. Noted. Noted. So I'll yeah, I'll definitely be reviewing um new content with that in mind. Thinking about that. The road of death. Well, that's super positive. That's super positive. Okay. So I can go up here. Can I get murdered up here? I'm not murdered up here. And that leads to the... Okay. Uh, Epitaph. Child program... Oh! 72. Codename Samsara. Hey, hey, terminated here. Logic. Program timed out. Final memory dump, but I only... I was stuck. What was I supposed to do? I see. I see clouds. Progeny programs. Samsara 72.2 series. Oh, shit. Holy crap. Guys, every... Every one with faith, every sheep, every one of these people, that code after their name... We need to be looking for that. We need to be looking what those numbers are because I think this means that, yeah, we're only reading the latest iteration of their, or maybe not even the latest, but it's the same person, same personality over and over again. I'm guessing. Wow. Okay. Yeah, that's, um, yeah. This is it, right? This is, this is, this is what you get with your game about consciousness. You get to play with shit like that. So I can never, I can't carry, obviously, right? Like I can't be like, nope, can't climb up yet. Well, it just explicitly tells me, awesome, okay. I can put the jammer on top of the block, but I don't know to what effect. There are four guns here, one jammer, so that's clearly not the answer. Um, Thank you, Saz, for that so much, because that, that actually, that information that has come at the perfect time as well. Okay, so I dare say this is the point. I jam this, I get the box. Like, I feel like that's obvious, right? I should be collecting resources at all points. Um, I can jam this at any range. Is there any advantage to me jamming that late in the piece? I don't know why there would be, but... Possible to jump on these guys? No. I can't. Wow. Fiendish. Is it a like is it just everywhere in that range? If I walk in the middle, is it okay? Is it lasers? Holy shit. Nope, okay. I mean, I might be wrong. Actually, I'm gonna go to um, third person. Let's see if this solves our problems. Okay.
test the hypothesis. There's no crouch in this game, is there? It's like there's a crouch move that I should have known about. No. Like if I walk under the lasers, am I safe? Yeah, I don't think it's that. Which is a shame, because that would be very cool. Um. I think if, if, if jamming... Yeah, like trying to eke my way across jamming as I go isn't going to work because there's obviously crossover, right? Like that's not the answer. Um, getting this to explode one of them isn't going to work because I can't change its path. I can only prevent part of its path. Like if I, yeah, if I take the hexahedron, drop it here. Like I can't like angle it such that it... bounces off and hits one of the guns, right? Like, it's still just going to go bonk and then... Yeah, okay. Shit. Another stumper. Can't jump on that thing and ride it like a horse. Which is its own shame. Um, can only subdue one gun at a time, or the bomb. And the bomb seems like the clear pick, right? Like, the, the, I feel like the point of this is to subdue the bomb. Um, can I hide behind the bomb in the crate? Will, will bomb... Carrying crate. Save my life. What? Wow. Did not know that was possible. Um Wow. I both like and hate that puzzle. Here's why I hate it. Games like this have very strict rules about what you can and can't do. And I... This is the sort of solution I would expect from somebody's fucking D&D &D game. You know, like, oh, I want to jam this thing on this thing in a way that is unexpected. Like, that sort of physical innovation is fine in a physics puzzler. This isn't a physics puzzler. There are hard to find rules. That combination there is... Yeah, I, I happened across that by luck. I didn't think of a cool thing and solve it. I just stumbled into it because it was a rule I did not know could be changed. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that at all. I like, but it, it's still cool, right? Like, this is why I like and hate it at the same time because it's cool. But also, like, yeah, th that feels just slightly outside the acceptable... Um, rules that I've been given. Oh, shit. Cease. In the time of your ancestors, wow. there were those who did not choose the path of faith. You do not need to fear their ghosts. Fear only that you may become like them. Wow. Why were they screaming? Why were they running this way? Was it Samsara, maybe? Damn, that is really cool. That is really cool. All right, let's hop into this one and hope that this particular puzzle somehow helps me crack the next puzzle. Over the fence. Oh, I've got to go over the fence now, do I?
And now I'm trapped. Oh, ha. <laughs> yep, reset, okay. This is a very simple puzzle because it's telling, it's, it's here to teach me that such things are possible. Oh, I can't place it over? Oh no, hang on. Here's what I do. Jump here, hang on. Jump there. Oh, I can't pick up? Oh, I can. Okay, cool. Yay! Cool. Hey! Hey! Alright, sweet. Um... I really want one of these boxes in that next area. Like, isn't the next puzzle over there? Hang on, is it over this wall? Oh, it's a little further than that, isn't it? Okay, let's take a fresh look at it, but we've solved that one. We can't take the boxes out of that room. Is there any way we can toss them over somehow? Toss them over a fence? Okay, now knowing some actual bullshit, about how this game works. Can I set this atop? Like, I can't be like, bam, bam, and then put it on top of the, this thing. There's no set on top of option. No, okay. All right. All right. Where's the red power supply? From one of the other puzzles, surely, but... Mm. Oh, you know what? If I unlock a fan... thing... I, and I get one in one of these areas, I could use the fan to maybe jump... Oh, can I put a box through a window? This game is trying to tell me to innovate now, right? Like, that box learning thing is, is, is pretty clearly, I think, telling me, hey, you know, some rules you can, you can fuck with, some rules you can break. Nope, no, let me jump here, take. Okay. I can't take it through here. Yep. Can I put it here? Jump on. Oh, it's an empty lot. Okay. So the windows between aren't gonna help me at all. Alright. Dang it. Yeah, I don't think that's the answer. Sneaking boxes out. There's no clear way to... Yeah, there's either this wall, which is bullshit. It's shorter, at least, but it's still, you know... Can't jam the. Hey, no. Hey, no. Okay. Yeah, I have to come back here for that one. I think. And I'll take one last look at it, but I'm pretty convinced there's not much else that can be done without extra input. I mean, look at this shit, right? Like, how am I meant to hit this red point without some external nonsense? You know? What can I even see from there? Like, it's gonna be... Yeah, what, what puzzles even are... Like, this one? Ish? Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Place of old, Elohim straight up murdered a non-believer. Oh yeah, Elohim is, is, is nutter butters. For sure. For sure. Saz, I think you were supposed to put the jammer on the box, climb the ladder, pick up the jammer from above. Oh, okay. Jammer on the box, climb the ladder. Oh, you reckon? Huh. I 
that I've solved this so I can, you know, hang on, what do I need to do, I need to, oh, it's been reset, the whole area's been reset, okay, sure, shut up, okay, too far to the, put it there, yep, put you there, and then climb, Yep, okay. No, you were right. Interesting. Is there a way for me to... I... Jam that. Trying to think of a way to get the box through here as well. But, okay, no, hang on, that's that's done because I get them all the way over here and then I'm still stuck. Yeah, okay, I, I was trying to get some tools through this gate, but that's dumb. I would just be getting them over to this side and they fucking start on this side. So that, that's that's dumb, okay. Um, but no, it says, good, good, good call. I, yeah, I forgot something that existed, but I'm kind of glad that I did in the sense that I discovered this bullshit thing where I can put boxes on bombs. Um, that's wild. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think how I would, where I would get the elevation to put a red laser into that star area. And frankly, I feel like there was a red laser this way, but and it might have. There was some elevation, but it was yeah up here. So if I were to, theoretically, theoretically, I can. I mean, is that the solution to the, um, oh, hang on. Ah, are there boxes in this? Is this an area with a box? I think it bloody was. I think it's just all connectors. Yeah, it was all, it was all, um, it was all connectors and boxes. Oh, man. Okay. And is that it? Am I meant to be collecting various things from various areas so that I can crack that last one. How novel. How fiendish. Um. Hmm. Hmm. So if I were to do that, get a red laser somehow from up there, through into here, and then down in, I would get a star, the troubles. I mean, I'd also need elevation here, right? Like, I need a connector, which I have. I need elevation, which I don't have. And I need the red laser coming in, which, you know, requires a box, which isn't in that area. Okay. Um, once I am done banging my head against this puzzle, I'm likely going to stop the stream. Um, like, I'll go to the new region, more beat boops. Got more beat boops for me, buddy. Why am I still third person? I honestly didn't even notice. It's too immersive. Give me them beat boops. Oh, it's the Milton. M L A. Okay, hello again. I've been checking your responses against library archives and in order to assist you further, I need some additional information. Can you tell me what is to you the important difference between a pebble and a tree? A tree is heavier, a pebble is older, a tree is alive. I feel like the tree being alive is the most important difference. If I had to, if I had to choose three. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with tree. Good. Now, what is the relevant difference between a tree and a frog? A frog is conscious, a frog is green, a frog is delicious. Um, a frog is conscious. I feel like this is... So, well, here we go. Here's some AI content at the end of the, at the, end of the, the session. So, early attempts to create an artificial intelligence 
stemmed from um, sort of the, the intention of creating a sort of semantic language within the computer, right? They figured the way to make a computer conscious and understand the world was to build with it semantic relations between things. So exactly these sort of questions, right? Where, you know, a frog is conscious, a frog is green, and a frog is delicious, but what's the most important difference between a tree and a frog, right? And for humans, we can make that jump fairly quickly. Um, we know all these things to be true, or we've assigned all these, you know, semantic indicators, but the ability to make these salient connections is something that we have. Now, the fact that we have that is not itself the prerequisite for consciousness, I think. And they were trying to, you know, start from top down instead of bottom up in terms of creating a mind. So they were going for, if, if we write a program that understands the world, understands the relationships between all things in the world, then we'll have a conscious thinking mind. I mean, I'm dumbing down their point, but looking back, you know, from the idiot standpoint that I have, it certainly looks like they were trying to do that, right? They were trying to, to, to web all that stuff together and then ta-da, you've got a brain. Or at least, you know, an approximation. That was perhaps just the first step. Um, it all went to shit, obviously. And embodiment is one of the big arguments against that kind of thing ever working because all of this is nonsense. It's moon logic. It means nothing until you're in the world and you build relational experiences with these objects. And even if you're having something described to you that you've never encountered, you've encountered other things that are similar enough that you can, you can build on those concepts and build a, um, an idea of what the world is. So being asked these questions by a computer, presumably still testing whether I'm, you know, human or sane or a robot or whatever, um, is very interesting to me because it references, I think, that, that AI history, those early attempts. Um, so this was good old fashioned AI, the pure logic based stuff. Um, that a lot of older fiction certainly references. Yeah, we're gonna go Frog is Conscious. I agree that, um, well actually, I don't know if frogs are delicious. I'll take Saz and Place of Old's uh, word on it. I've never, I've never tasted frog. Frog is Conscious, now we're getting somewhere. Let's try something harder. What's the difference between a frog and you? What makes you a person? I have feelings, I'm self-aware, I'm rational. Nothing important, frogs are people too. Um, I wanna say rational or self-aware. I think both are fair points. Unless there's something going on with frogs that I don't know about, I think self-awareness is important. Because, well, here's the important thing, I think you can be self-aware but irrational, quite comfortably irrational. Um, and there's some great books that I've got lined up to read for my research that look at the um, concepts of rational and irrational thought and how irrational thought is actually very important, supposedly, to, to thinking and to the, the human process. So I'm going to say self-aware. I think that's the... Everyone here is saying, oh, I'm, getting, I'm getting a few self-awares, but I'm getting some rationals. I'm going to say self-aware because I think being self-aware and irrational is still possible. Like, if I'm self-aware and irrational, that doesn't make me a frog. <laughs> that's the answer I've been contemplating as well. Checking user profile, done. Though I'm not convinced that the view lines up with the definition of the person. I'm not convinced that view lines up with the definition of the person you provided earlier. Hmm. Still, doubting your assumptions isn't something to fear, it's an intellectual survival instinct. I'm pleased to see you adapting your ideas to your environment. So that's interesting. So, if this is a game that generates different responses based on, or provides different responses based on the, the quiz answers that I give, this appears to be saying your new quiz answers don't line up with your old quiz answers, but that's okay, you're growing as a person. That's very interesting. I would have thought, I certainly feel like I've been giving consistent answers, but I mean, it's been months, right? Okay, let us take stock. I think we can tentatively conclude two things. A person must be rational or self-aware, a person must be conscious. Okay, so maybe I pushed rationality last time, or maybe rationality was one of the other potential answers, who knows. Maybe it's always going to say that the two quizzes don't line up, because the first quiz is written in such a way that it can't, who knows. Um, what I suggest we do to help resolve your problem is ask whether you are in fact those things. Are you aware of yourself? Can you rationalise your existence? Yes. I think we can say yes. <laughs> Says Rainbow, I don't have a rational bone in my emotional girly body. Well, there we go. Yeah. See, I, I don't think... I, 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 I try to be a rational individual. I try to approach things 
uh, rationally and pragmatically. But I also do my best to accept that rational thinking and emotional thinking are often two different things. Or more importantly, if you feel a thing, the feeling isn't rational, it's a feeling. It's different to a rational thought. And owning and accepting and, and processing that feeling is different to saying, well, I must be aggressively rational about this. Like dovetailing those two into, into different ideas and processes, and letting feelings be their own thing has been, um, yeah, a huge step of emotional growth for me, growth for me over, um, over the past few years. Um, well, got longer than the past few years now. But yes, anyway, I'm going to click yes. Of course. I tend to agree with you. Though your responses so far have been a little eccentric, I'm resigned to admit that you are right. The matter of whether or not you are conscious seems rather more elusive. What is consciousness in your opinion? Consciousness is what separates us from animals. Consciousness is what it is like to be me. Consciousness is the feelings and senses. Consciousness is far outside my area of expertise. Um, this is really interesting because I don't think any of those answers rightly encapsulate the concept of consciousness. I don't think any of those are adequate answers, but I also can't think of one. Partially because I've spent time researching consciousness and it is such a fuzzy thing that it is an unsolved problem. It's possible there's no answer that could be given to me. Certainly no pat answer that would provide me with, um, you know, that would say to me, oh, that's interesting, that's interesting. Mm -mm -mm. Um, I'm probably going to go the first one because it's at least categorical. It is the most rational and, you know, it seems above. The person must be rational or self-aware. We've sort of lent into that. Because um, feelings and senses, I think consciousness arrives from that, but it's an extra thing on top of that. Um, I think consciousness is... But animals can be conscious, like self-awareness and consciousness are different things, right? Oh, yeah, weird, because you can, you can give a, I guess, yeah, you can give a robot or a program feelings and senses. Yeah, this is where it gets fuzzy, right? It's, it's, the MLA is treating these concepts as hardline things, but this conversation destroys those hard lines by its very nature. Um, Well, Saz, the first one is redundant. You pretty much already said that. It's true, but that doesn't mean that it shouldn't be the answer to this question. Um, I, I don't like the other three any better. Um, consciousness is what it is like to be me. Uh, maybe, I guess. That at least makes it fuzzy, which consciousness is, from my perspective, um, seeing it as an unsolved problem. It's feelings and senses doesn't cut it. Fire outside my area of expertise is also actually a pretty strong grab, I suppose. Um, crafty devious, the process, experience of being me, even though I don't know what's up, is what I would call consciousness. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, yep, yeah, alright, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go that one, I'm gonna go this one, yep. Of course, that hardly answers the question, what is it in ordinary terms? Can I touch it? What is it made of? Here we go. Uh, consciousness is made of neurons. Consciousness is beyond the laws of physics. I don't believe that for a second. Consciousness is another word for the soul. Nope. Consciousness is a complex functional system. Bam! It's four. Guys, I'm hitting four. It is, I'm just hitting four. It just is four. I think. That's the closest we can... Yeah. Thinking. You know, I really feel like we're making progress. We'll have you... We'll have you through that certification program in no time. In the meantime, I will mull over your proposal and notify you if I come to any conclusions. Wow, so that was just the support session again. Okay. And saving. All right. And I think we're done. So if I stop game, less than a minute ago. Brilliant. All right. Guys, um, surprisingly, surprisingly more content. I really like the way that these little conversations with the MLA slash what other individual we were talking to are doled out in these little portions such that almost every session, two hour session, I'm guaranteed to get a little plot nugget. I'm getting more than others sometimes. Also, I guess part of that was me doing the big explore of the, the hub world early on and, and looking at all the extra, um, you know, extra beep boops, extra QR codes. There was perhaps more to grapple with early as well, conceptually, in terms of making sense of the space. And now the, the, the space largely makes sense and I'm just process, I'm grinding it functionally. But yeah, the, the way this game is paced means that in a, in a 120 minute sesh, 
we get a couple of nuggets. So every session is, is worth it, which is really cool. I really like that. Um, that pleases me. Oh, yeah, GG, guys. Fuck. Yes. Yeah, um, Crafty says it right. MLA is being totally provocative on purpose. Um, all says says, I don't think the MLA is taking a hard line. I think it's more like a psych test where you get options, and it's more about which one you choose than if any are really true. Yeah, yeah, that is, that is a good point. Um, but... Nevertheless, you're still forced to choose one, even if you don't believe any of them. And this is one thing I don't like about multiple choice things, where you have to talk about yourself. I've had to fill out a few questionnaires in my time in which I've had to explain my feelings or whatnot, but I don't get the chance to explain my feelings. I rate a question that is oblique and doesn't quite apply to me on a scale of 1 to 10. And, I mean, there are times where you get to say, this doesn't apply or, you know, not sure, and I'll go for those if that's an option, but if... If that isn't provided to me, if I'm forced to answer a question that I don't agree with, or is pointing to something that I have an answer to, but my answer isn't provided, I really hate that. Because if you go for the closest one, okay, you went for one that was close, and maybe everybody does that, but then can you call the results of that quiz anything but inaccurate? Because they're, they're close, but it's not accurate, it's not true. But, you know, um, thanks to the, the fuzziness of language and the fact that um, interpretation between people is a purely subjective experience, there can be no true answers, right? But if I have to answer it in somebody else's words, and I don't agree with those words, then you can't even pretend that, that the truth was in the ballpark, I think. Um, yeah, so that's a bugbear of mine. Other people might not have said bugbear, and that's legit. Oh, damn. Frank Punch, took all night, but you should have an account to watch. Well, awesome. Awesome, Frank. Uh, it will be super good to see you next time. Yeah, if you can make it then, that would be that would be sweet. Um, yeah. And yeah, quizzes are guesstimates at best. Yep, damn straight, Frank Punch. Damn straight. Um, yeah, GG. Thanks, everybody. Um, I will catch y'all in a week. See you then.